Hi! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Morning na, naka-shades ako, ba? Diba? <laughs> Ayan, good morning! Yo, welcome to Road to Clarity! Okay, guys, by now, I'm sure naka-attend na kayo ng una, Live Brighter Forum. Ikalawa is Road to a Brighter Life with me and Coach P. Nakilala na kami. Again, I'm Abby Josa, just in case hindi nyo ako natatandaan. Well, if you see me on an ordinary day, um, ganito talaga itsura ko. Lagi akong naka-shades, no? Tapos, kahit ano, kahit gabi, naka-shades ako. Kasi ang dami kong ring light, o, oh, lima. ba? Diba? Tapos, um, lagi ako naka-dress and naka-shawl. Medyo signature ko na siyang ganyan. So, lagi ako may ganyan. Para if you see me again on ordinary day, al- makikilala niyo ako agad, okay? So, this road to clarity, um, ano ba yung meron dito? It's a clarification ng lahat ng bagay-bagay na malabo. <laughs> di ba? Okay. So, ito kasing road to clarity. Subdivided siya. May kodigo ko na. Subdivided siya into three parts. Una is knowing yourself. Dapat alam mo kung ano ba yung strength mo, ano ba yung meron ka, and paano mo to magagamit. Okay? Sa sa future, ganyan, sa mga, pag, sa mga gagawin mo sa buhay. And then, next would be knowing your vision. Saan mo gustong pumunta? Di ba? Kanya-kanya tayo dito kung saan natin gustong makarating, ganyan. Kasi kanya-kanya tayong goals, desires, and mga dreams, ganyan. And then next would be knowing the business. So, ito, paano ka makakarating dun sa gusto mong puntahan gamit kung anong meron ka. Okay, gamit itong sun life na to, yung business natin, paano ka niya madadala papunta sa gusto mong puntahan. Okay? So, yun yung road to clarity for Um, this one, yung knowing yourself, meron siyang four. Una is ako, sensory preference. I'll discuss that to you in a while. Next would be the prioritization worksheet ni UM Geno. Next would be the strength finder. Ako let guys, magkasawaan tayo dito. Then next would be the love language ni UM Liz. Okay, so again, I'm Abby Josan and mag-start na tayo guys. Ha? Okay, titan ko lang tong mukha kong saksakan ng laki. Ayan. Then, hide natin to. Shing! Ayan. Okay. Ipi-play ko to. Then, magta-timer tayo later. Sensory preference. Okay, guys. I need you to find one sheet of paper, a pen, number nyo from 1 to 12, And then, I need your complete attention. Bakit? Kasi mag exam tayo. Okay? May sasagot tayo tayo 12 questions lang naman. And then, by the end of those 12 questions, dapat alam nyo na kung ano kung ano yung sensory preference nyo. When you say sensory, di ba it, meron tayong five senses? Teka lang, habang kumukuha kayo ng, ano, ng sheet of paper and pen, start ko na to 30 seconds, okay? Kuha na kayo, guys. Yan, start. Okay, yung sensory preference, meron kasi tayo, di ba, five senses, sense of sight, sense of smell, hearing, taste, and touch. Ganon. Um, meron kasi tayong kanya-kanyang biases, kung alin yung mas, ma, mas nagagamit natin, di ba? Kung, ano, kung mas visual ba tayo, or kung mas gusto natin nga rin, eh, ganyan. Dito, malalaman natin kung saan yung mas prefer natin, and that would be our learning style. Okay. Okay, stop na. So, by now, meron na siguro kayong sheet of paper and pen. Pwede namang cellphone na lang. Okay. Next. Click natin yung next. <clears throat> First question. So, guys, hindi tayo A, B, C, ha? So, ang choices natin is V, A, and K. Yan yung isusulat nyo. V, A, and K. Okay, so, first question. When I have free time, I prefer to Letter V, read, watch, TV, a video, or go to the movies. Hindi na uso movies, Netflix na. Letter A, listen to music, radio, or talk to someone. Letter K, do something athletic, physical, or using my hands. Or for this question, I'll give you 10 seconds. Start. Galat, diba?
Okay, thank you. Next question tayo, guys. Hindi ko hindi kayo ako, ano? Okay. When I enter a room, ano yung pagpasok niya ang kwarto, ano yung una niyong ginagawa? Do you observe yourself that way? Um, letter B. Do you look around? See the people? Look at what's happening? Nga, tinitignan mo ba muna yung decoration sa paligid? Ganon. Or letter A. Notice the music or what people are talking about. Yung papasok ka pa lang ng, ng hallway, inaalam mo na ako ano yung tinutugtog nila. Ganun ka ba? O, letter K. Get the feeling about what is happening. Ito yung alamin mo, mas sa iba yung mga tao. Um, ano bang vibe nito? Malungkot ba sila? Or something? Paano ba yung gagawin ko? Kasi pinapakiramdaman mo. So, alin dyan? I'll give you again. 10 seconds. Start. Thank you. Okay, next question na tayo guys, ha? Okay, next question. I learn most easily when I, letter B, see someone demonstrate what to do and I write it down. Letter A, get verbal instructions or explanations. Or letter K, get hands-on experience and do it myself. Okay, again guys, you have 10 seconds. Thank you for that. Okay, next question ulit tayo. Madali lang, di ba? Okay. Question number four. When finding my way around the new city, are you the type na letter B? I use a map. Di ba? Letter A, you ask for directions. And letter K, trust my feelings about which way to go. Nakilala akong ganyan lagi kamo yung naliligaw. Okay, so I give you again. Ten seconds. Okay, thank you very much. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, question number five. I enjoy books or magazines that, letter B, have lots of pictures, siguro ito yung magazine, comics, ganon. Letter A, discuss interesting topics. Yung, um, Siguro ito yung sa akin kasi puro make-up, yoga, make globalization, biglang may paralegal, iba-iba, basta interesting. And then, letter K, you cover sports or interesting activities. O, oh, ito yung mga mahilig sa sports, no? Okay. Timer starts ulit natin. 10 seconds. Thank you very much. Next question tayo, guys. Question number six. When I have many things to do, I letter B, make a list for myself or imagine doing them. Letter A, keep reminding myself that I have to do things. I have things to do. Sorry. And letter K, I feel comfortable until all are mo- all or most are done. Yung ginagawa mo agad. Okay. Okay, timer starts now. Okay, thank you very much. Next question tayo, guys. Kalahati na, kalain mo yun, no? Kalahati na tayo. Question number seven. I show my appreciation for others by letter V, doing things for them. Letter A, Telling them how I feel? Or letter K, being close to them, being with them, touching them. Okay, start ulit tayo guys. 10 seconds. Okay, thank you very much. Next question. Question number 8. I remember, letter B, faces, what I read, see, or write over and over. 
Letter A, names, conversations, and what I hear. Letter K, what I do, touch, or smell. Okay, guys, you have 10 seconds again. Thank you for that. Next question tayo, guys. Number nine. I like any place where, letter B, there are things to see and people to watch. Letter A, there is music or good conversation. Letter K, there is room to move or things to do. Okay, timer starts again, 10 seconds. Thank you. Next question. Ang bilis, oh. Tatlo na lang, oh. Tsaka-tsaka lang, guys, ha? Question number 10. When I have nothing to do, I, letter V, look for something to watch or read. Letter A, talk to someone. Letter K, walk around or find something to do. Okay, timer starts now. Thank you. Okay, next question tayo. Ha? Second to the last question. Ayan. Sorry, what I remember the most about someone. Sorry, sorry. Nasobra na ako ng play. Ulit. What I remember the most about someone is letter B, how they looked, what they wore, and how they acted. Letter A, what we talked about, how they sounded. Letter K, what we did together, what I felt about them. Okay, 10 seconds again. Thank you. And last question, OMG, last na. Okay. When I need to communicate with someone, I, letter B, text or email them. Letter A, talk to them or give them a call. Letter K, find them or try to be with them in person. Okay? So, 10 seconds again. Congratulations! Okay, guys. Tapos na yung 12 questions. Biglang may 13 pala eh, no? Ayan. Okay, now it's time to compute your scores. Addition lang to, ha? Ayan. Start na natin. Um, actually, kung halimbawa feeling nyo, dun sa isang question, dalawa yung sagot nyo. Sorry, kanina ko pa dapat pala sinabi to. Feeling nyo dalawa yung sagot nyo, imbes na isa. No? Um, okay lang kahit dalawa. Okay, basta um, kayo bahala. But, may, basta compute natin, okay? I'll give you siguro addition lang naman to. Tapos 12 questions, 30 seconds na lang, no? Okay, start. Okay, now that you have computed your scores, syempre na-imagine ko na yung sunod, no? Ilan ba yung V? Ilan yung A? Ilan yung K? Okay? So, mas marami ba yung V? Yung A? Or yung K? Syempre, kayo lang makakasagot yan. Hindi ko naman nakikita, diba? So, ano yung mas marami? Pero, what if? What if may parehas? Meron tayong tiebreaker question, diba? Naisip ko na naman yun. Gosh. So, ano tong tiebreaker question? Just in case, halimbawa, parehas yung B and A, ganyan pantay. This is the last question. How do you want to be loved? Do you want to see it? Tipong, mahal niya ako kasi pinaghugas niya ako ng pinggan. Mga ganyan. 
kasi nakita mo eh, diba? So, next, do you want to hear it? So, mag sinasabihan ka ng I love you, ganyan. Tapos, pag nag-break kayo, sabi niya, sabi niya, sabi niya. Yan, niwala kayo, diba? Okay, or letter K. Do you want to physically, to physically feel it? So, mo nararamdaman mo, hinahag ka, ganyan. No, kunyari ka pang hahag. Alam ko, iba gusto mo mahigit pa doon. Pero yan, just in case, alin dyan dun sa tatlo. Tiebreaker to ha, dun lang sa mga nagpantay. Para lang meron tayong isang sagot. Okay? Okay, guys. Eto na. I-explain ko na. Siyempre, hindi na tayo magta-timer. No? Palakihin na natin to. Ayan. Okay. Ipat ko to, ah. Ito ba ka Ayan. Ito, visual. Sa lahat ng visual students. This visual students, they like to read and obtain a great deal from visual stimulations. Ito yung mahilig sa sense of sight. Ito yung mas nangingibabaw sa kanila. For them, lectures, conversations, and oral directions without visual background or backups can be very confusing. They have a greater chance of remembering information that is presented to them in a form of graphics. Ang uh, best example dito, magbibigay ko, is yung secretary ko. Kapag sinasabihan ko siya kung ano yung gagawin, hindi nangyayari. <laughs> so, syempre, mag-flare up kang ganyan. Wait lang, anong problema natin? Ganon. Pero na-realize ko na hindi lang pala kasi siya auditory. Isa siyang visual na tao. Kasi kapag yung isang instruction, itchinat ko sa kanya. Sinend ko sa messenger. Natatapos niya within the day. Kasi nandun. Kasi visual nga siya. So, naisip ko, imbes na nagtatalo kami, na akala ko hindi niya ginagawa yung sinasabi ko, ako yung nag-adjust. Dahil visual kang tao, okay, lahat ng usos ko, i-chat ko na lang sa'yo. Kasi mas natatandaan mo, mas namatatak sa'yo, um, kapag chinachat ko. Okay? So, yun. yun. Kapag visual yung isang tao din, ganun, ikaw na lang yung mag-adjust. Kasi yun yung learning style niya doon kanya mas maintindihan. This is mean of, means of communication. Okay, auditory students. Ito yung madadaldal. Ahem. <laughs> Yan. Auditory students are comfortable with the visual input and therefore enjoy and profits uh, with, comfortable without any, without any visual input and therefore enjoy and profits from any simple le- lectures, conversations, and oral directions. They are excited by classroom interactions in role plays and similar activities. They tend to remember names but forget faces and, they, and are easily distracted by sound. Ito yung um, kapag may nag yes ganon. Kami yun. Auditory kasi ako, guys. Our mind works like isang malaking Spotify. Ganon. Kapag may sinabi ka in the past, like kahit 10 years ago, kaya kong ilitin yan sa harapan mo. Kami din yung madadaldal na kaya namin mag-host. Hello, good morning, ganyan. Kaya namin mag-host kasi um, yung mga quotes na natandaan na namin in our entire life, dumadating lang siyang parang gano'n ng gano'n. So, kaya namin mag-extemporaneous speech or yung um, ay, yung impromptu, gano'n. Yung biglaan, gano'n ito, impromptu to eh. Wala na ko ako script dito eh. Puro bullets lang. Ganyan. Yun yung mga auditory. Yun yung mahilig sa public speaking. And yung visual, ayaw nila ng public speaking. Okay? Ito yung auditory. Ito, yung, ito din yung mga voice coaches. Tipong, ang susunod na station ay Legarda Station. Paparating na sa Legarda Station. Mga ganyan. Sila yung mga ano. Kami yun. Mga auditory. Okay? Yung mga singer, ganyan. Yan, auditory yun. Then, kinesthetic, o oh, malamang, ito yung mga sports-minded na tao, no? Like lots of movements and enjoy working in tangible objects, collages, and flashcards. Sitting at a desk for a very long time is not for them. They prefer to have frequent breaks and move around the room. Eh, ito hindi mapakali. Yung kailangan naglalakad lagi, ganyan. Yung, for some reason, mas natatandaan nila yung mga bagay. Um, I think when I was in college, borderline kinesthetic and auditory ako. Kasi kapag nagre-review ako sa jeep, gumagalaw yung jeep, di ba? Pag nagre-review ako, mas natatandaan ko siya. Kahit nag-cramming pa yun, like mamaya na exam pagdating ko exam na. Medyo na perfect ko yung exam kasi sa jeep ako nag-aral. 
Ganon. Medyo ganun. Kailangan moving kapag kinesthetic ka. Though wala kong sinabing gawin nyo yun. Medyo delikado kasi yun. Lalo sa mata. Napalisik tuloy ako. Ayan. Okay? And then, kung ikaw ay visual, auditory, and kinesthetic, ano yung mga learning strategies mo? Kasi pagdating mo dito sa Sun Life, it's a whole new world. Parang a whole new course. Ganon. Kaya kailangan mong aralin lahat para maging magaling ka. So, for a start, we'll teach you the learning strategies. If you were a visual person, ayan, if you're a visual student, you ask for demonstration, magpapademo, no? Request your handouts, incorporate white spaces in your notes, draw symbols and pictures, use flashcards, create graphs and charge, make outlines, write your own practice set, practice test, ganon. Um, more on, make sure lagi kang may visual kits. Lagi kang may ano, visual aids kapag nag-aaral ka. Kasi that's the best way for you to learn kapag visual ka. Okay? Ay, sorry. <laughs> ano, Bear? Next. <clears throat> Ayan, auditory. Ayan, find a study body. Kailangan nito may kausap eh para mak- matuto ka talaga. Then, record class lectures. Malamang marami akong recording, no? Sit near the the front of the room, listen to classical music. Yung, um, mas gusto ng auditory yung walang lyrics. Kasi ako'y dapat yung madaldal eh. Gaya nitong background music ko, diba? Puro piano cover lang. Sorry guys, medyo marami akong input kapag auditory. Kasi ako, ako mismo yung auditory, no? Yung visual and kinesthetic. You can ask your managers, ano sila? And then maybe, kaparehas nyo sila, no? And then, Participate in class discussion, yung mga bibo-bibo kids sa recitation. Record yourself reading key terms and their definitions out loud. Repeat facts with your eyes closed. And read assignments out loud. Ayan, kailangan kasi ano, narigrinig kapag auditory. Mas tumatatak sa amin kapag narigrinig namin yung isang bay. Huwag kang mga ngako sa isang auditory. Kaya niya isumbit sa'yo yan, even 10 years later. Okay? Next. Kinesthetic. Kinesthetic students, you should stand up instead of sitting down. Combine your study session with exercise. Kailangan gumagalaw ka talaga. Meron akong um, advice. Nag-unit meeting kami, lakad siya ng lakad. Kasi hindi niya daw nagigas kapag nakaupo lang siya. Ganon. So sabi ko, i-off na lang yung video kasi nadidistract yung iba. Ganon. And then, utilize small movements. And kahit simpong, yung ano lang, nag-aaral ka, gumaganyan ka lang ng, ng ball pen. May ano yun, nagme-memorize yun. Ha? Use a pen. Use a pen. Use a pen. Use a pencil. Use a highlighter. Kasi kaya kailangan mo nga ng movement, eh, ba? Para matanda. Kasi pag nakita mong gumalaw, natatandaan mo siya. Okay? Ito yung may mga locomotor memory. Yung mga kumakabisado ng sayaw. Tapos nagbulat ka paano nila nagagawa yun. Kasi meron silang kinesthetic memory. Okay? Try tension and relaxation. Bakit? Para pa iba-iba. Itong tension and relax. Para moving, no? And get creative. Be very, very creative. Kung meron di ba mga bata na hindi matutunan halimbawa yung 5 plus 6 ang gagawin yung nanay. O may limang baso. Tapos may limang, may anim na pinggan. O 5 plus 6, ilan yan? Ganon. Be very creative. Kasi parang gusto niya yung nagbibilang talaga siya. With actions. Okay? So, oh, I think guys, yun na yun, no? <laughs> yun na yun. Okay. Hindi ko man lang nilagyan ng end something to. No? Ayan. So, thank you guys for, um, kung <clears throat> sa mukha ako nawala. Ayan. Thank you guys for listening. And I hope, kung ano yung sagot niya sa answer, sa answer key nyo, yan, sana ma-share nyo sa sa manager nyo para, um, para mapag-usapan nyo, malaman ng manager nyo kung what's the best way for you to learn. Kasi yung manager nyo, mag adjust yan kung halimbawa visual ka, auditory ka, kinesthetic ka, ganun ka niya tuturuan. Then, alamin mo din kung paano siya para at least yung conversation nyo, medyo malinis, medyo, um, um, what do you call this, medyo maayos, walang misunderstanding. Okay? Gaya ko and yung sekretary ko, nagkakaintindihan kami kung paano kami dapat mag-usap. No, no, hindi siya dapat maingay. Ganyan, and ako dapat nag-chat ako sa kanya. Okay? I hope you learned something, no? And masa na ma-apply nyo siya. For the next would be prioritization worksheet. 
ituturo yan ni UM Jen, no? Siya yung susunod after ko. And then, we'll see you again sa Strength Finder, okay? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bright morning!